Hey, what is up guys? Epic Pokemon TCG here and today guys I have another deck profile for you all and before I get into the video guys If you just want to get quicker into the deck list, it's in the description below I'm gonna start putting all my deck lists in the description below so that way I make it a little more convenient on you guys That way you don't have to through the whole video and pausing it So, without any further ado, let's get into the deck profile and as you guys can tell by the title It's gonna be an Evital Hard Charm deck profile well, Starting off guys, we of course have three Evital EX. This is gonna be Basically, your main attacker of the deck and your tank has Evil Vault and Y Cyclone. You guys know what those do. This card's been around for a long time. It's really powerful. Play three of those. And then play three Baby Evatol. And this is in here for the Oblivion Wing attack. Um, basically, you can just charge up your Evatol. And it's really good against Dawn decks because it does have fighting resistance and it's not an EX. So, uh, really, they're not going to be doing a lot to it. And of course it has Darkness Blade, that'll get past some of the pesky safeguard Pokemon. Then I played two Darkrai just to give uh, the free retreat option. I did play one Darkrai, one Switch, but I felt like two Darkrai was a lot better. And yes guys, this is tournament tested. I did test this in a tournament, and uh, I did bubble, but overall the deck did perform really well. Then I played one Seismitoad. This is just in here to kind of screw with your opponent, and uh, Trainer Lock's really good. Um, you can bump this up to two if, you're, if you really want to. Uh, I just stuck with one, and I just used it when I needed to. Uh, you know, it can just kind of slow down your opponent and help you build up your, you know, Evitals or whatever. Then uh, one Keldeo EX, just for the Russian ability. Um, you can put a Dark Energy on it, and then basically you just don't need the Blood Stone. And you know that'll get you out of special conditions or get, whatever. You need, whenever you need to get your act out of you know active spot, you don't want to waste energy or something like that. Or if they just ca if they Lysander, almost said catcher. If they Lysander up something that doesn't have any energy, you just rush in, retreat, whatever. I don't know. And then uh, just for some more consistency, I played one Jirachi EX. I know a lot of people aren't crazy about this card, but this little dude saved me in a few games, so I like him in here. All right, guys. So that is the Pokemon. And now we have, of course, three Hard Charms. Um, this is gonna what? This is this is gonna what? Oh, Jesus. I just woke up. This is going to make your Evatol tank a little bit here. Yeah. My name's Jeff. Anyway, I hope you guys didn't hear my phone. Uh, basically, this is just kind of the centerpiece of the deck. Making Evatol take less damage. And, you know, I don't know. You guys know what this deck does. I don't need to go into descriptive detail on it. So I played three Hard Charms. Then we play two Muscle Band. Uh, just to give yourself the option of extra damage. Because, you know, Evil Ball is going to rack up and, you know, Muscle Band is just going to make it a little easier for you to get those one-shots. And, you know, also, Hard Charming and Evital against Dawn Fan is just absolutely insane because they can't do anything to you, really. Unless they have a Zekrom. But, Zekrom don't do squat against Shadow Circle. Now, this deck definitely does struggle against Manetric EX or Mega Manetric, whatever, whatever the heck you want to say. Um... So to try to make it a little easier, yes, this deck's still going to struggle greatly against that deck, that card in particular, not that deck, because there's a lot of magic variants out there, and I'm going to be covering them, so stay tuned, guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, definitely do that. But Shadow Circle will make, that way, um, all your Dark Pokemon don't have any weakness, and so, you know, I wasn't crazy on running two Darkrai, just because of the fact that, you know, it does have the fighting resistance, and fighting is very popular. Um... But, you know, I just tend to attach a Darkness Energy to it. That way, you know, they have to have the Stadium. And I do play three, so that way it makes you win the Stadium more a little easier. Yeah, three Shadow Circle. Uh, I would love four, but a four. I feel like four would be too clunky. You never know. Now for the supporters, guys. Four Juniper. Four in. Three Chorus. Two Lysander. And then three VS Seeker. This is what I'm comfortable with. Uh, I feel like this engine is actually pretty sick in this deck. I keep taking my freaking tripod. And yeah, this is what I like. So, you guys want to make some changes there, you definitely can. For Ultra Ball, uh, this is going to search out all your Pokemon and basically get some dark energy into the discard pile for Oblivion Wing. Excuse me. And, you know, just kind of up the consistency a little bit. I like 4 in this deck. I feel like 4 is a pretty solid number. And then... I put this in here just to be strictly annoying. This is definitely three spots that you can change out if you want to. This is just my personal preference. I run three enhanced hammers. Just, I mean, yeah, you know, if you if you're over here discarding energy, of course, evil ball is gonna do less and less. But I just wanted to be a complete and utter troll. 
And, um, yeah, that's rap music you hear playing in the background. I'm sorry. But, yeah, I, I wanted to play three Enhanced Hammer just uh, to give yourself some easier matchups against decks that, you know, play a lot of special energies. Because, I mean, if you're sitting there tanking your Evatol and, you know, you got some Enhanced Hammers or whatever, that's definitely uh, really good. Uh, I've even I've been opted to maybe take out something and putting in like another healing card. Um, yeah, I like the three enhanced hammers. And then another card that I really liked that really shined in this tournament was of course uh, three energy switch. Um, I felt like three was the perfect number um, just because I did a lot of crazy shenanigans with this card. Um, excuse me, but anyway. I did a lot of things with this card, uh, like I was going to get some Aegis Slash EX and pretty much I did, I just was screwed at that point. I uh, got a big chorus off and I double energy switched. I actually double energy switched at least four times in that tournament. So I really like it. Um, it also gives you just some more options on your field, you know, like maybe you have a Scyther Toad EX that has the energy on it you want it on the Eva Tall or something like that or maybe you messed up an Oblivion Wing or something like that or like you need maybe another energy on a big Evatol or something like that. I don't know. You just there's so many options that this card opens up. So I like three in this deck. Now another card that I was kind of iffy on, and I'm still iffy on if I should up it or swap it to just Pokemon Center Lady, is Max Potion. Um, I like it in here because it's just it makes your Evatol tank a little better. Um, I don't know if you should up it in a deck that doesn't run Mega Manetric, but that's completely your call. Yeah, just I, I don't know. I, I'm I'm kind of I like it, but then you know I can see where it would be kind of hinders. It doesn't take up your supporter for the turn. That's why I brand it over Pokemon Center Lady. And then I play one Professor Slater. Just get some Dark Energy in your hand. You know, you never know. My A spec of choice is going to be Computer Search. This is going to help you get Dark Energy into the discard pile and get whatever you need. Then my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful eight Umbreon energies. Sorry guys, I had to say it. Uh, yeah, I love these energies. These are so cool. And then we got eight of them, eight dark energies. That's what I'm personally comfortable with. In a dark deck, I've always been comfortable with eight dark energies. Um, every deck, like before Evasol came out, I was stuck with eight, eight dark energies and four dark patch. That was always how I did it. And you know, it kind of came into this next format. I always like eight darks. You can go nine if you want to. That's up to you. And then of course, we've got four DCE just for extra Evatol stuff, like like damage, and you know you can attack with Seismitoad or whatever. Now that, this deck's definitely like you can do some stuff with it. Like you can put in Mewtwo EX, or you can just I don't know. This is the list that I'm working with right now that I've tested and I feel comfortable with. Would I play this in a tournament again? Definitely. Um, I liked it. It played really well. It's really accustomed to my style and how I like to play, which is really bad. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, I bubbled, and the first game, I just didn't draw anything, really. Like, I opened with three shadow circles. I didn't shuffle that well, I don't think. And then my other game, my opponent flipped four heads out of six with Malamar EX to win the game, and I got ninth place out of a top cut of eight, so that's what happened to me there. But guys, that is going to do it for this deck profile. I hope you enjoyed it, and I love you all. Thank you for watching, and definitely feel free to like, comment, or subscribe, guys, because I'm going to have a lot more content on my channel because cities are done, and I was using cities as a way to kind of get uh, more ideas for some more decks, see how they worked, and see how they contested. And, you know, I went on a huge ordering spree. I ordered a lot of cards. So, yeah, definitely going to be having some deck profiles finally up on my channel again. I've been kind of struggling and lacking lately because... I just wasn't sure how to build you know, a lot of the newer decks, so I wanted to play against them and see. But thank you guys for watching, and this is Epic Pokemon TCG, signing out.